Let's give a nice welcome to you, you all come himself, Cousin Herb Henson. Thank you very much, Joe, and good evening, everybody. Welcome to the beautiful new Civic Auditorium in Bakersfield, California, in Kern County, in the southern San Joaquin Valley, 100 miles north of Los Angeles. We have our own airport. Thank you. And we hope you'll enjoy our big country music, Hootin' Nanny. Let's all get together and we get to the chorus. When I say you all come, you all say. Let's hear you say it once real loud. Y'all come. Yeah. Okay, boys, you ready? Y'all come. <laughs> when you live in the country, everybody is your neighbor on this one thing you can rely. They'll all come and see you and never, never leave you saying you all come and see us by and by. Y'all come. Y'all come. You all come, see us when you can. You all come, you all come. Oh, you all come, see us now and then. Hey! Now the Kim folks there are coming, and they're coming by the dozens, and they're eating everything from soup to hay. But right after dinner, they ain't looking any thinner And you can still hear my kid folks say Y'all come, y'all come Oh, you all come, see us when you can You all come, y'all come Oh, you all come, see us now and then That they come into the kitchen and him do the dishes right away. But they all start leaving, even though she's grieving, you can still hear my grandma say, Y'all come, y'all come, oh, you all come, see us when you can, you all come. It was 10 years ago that I recorded it for Capitol Records, and here we are 10 years later doing it once more again, live from the Civic Auditorium in Bakersfield, California. And now we're going to bring on a young man that uh, is no stranger to any of you, and I'm talking about a guy that uh, started out here in Bakersfield, and uh, of course he's on the road all the time. Let's bring him on, Buck Owens and his buckaroos! <laughs> All 
I gotta do is act naturally. Well, I'll bet you I'm a gonna be a big star. I might win an Oscar, you can't never tell. The movies are gonna make me a big star. Cause I can play the part so well. Hope you'll come to see me in my movie. Then I know that you're gonna play me. Biggest fool that's ever hit the big time All I gotta do is act naturally Two, three, four All I gotta do is act naturally Thank you very much. We're very happy to be able to appear on Cousin Herb's show. We're glad to be uh, a part of it and uh, have a chance to appear in Bakersfield since this is where we live. Look at that. <laughs> this young man comes from the great state of Oklahoma. His name is Bashful Bob Morris and he's a fine entertainer. Now, Bob writes a lot of songs. Here's one that he and another great guy, Eddie Miller, a very fine songwriter wrote. Here's Bob to sing one called This Old Heart. Goes like this. This old heart has been around It's been up and it's been down It's been walked on till it's half shot But it's still the only heart that I've got Well, this old heart has been around It's been up and it's been down it's been stood up by every girl in town But it still looks for love to come around Yeah, it still looks for love to come around Thank you. We're gonna bring on a couple right now that uh, is known all over the United States and we got a whistler. Boy, that's great. Down in Mexico, that means bad. Ole means good over there. <laughs> Ole. Well, that's good. We're going to bring on uh, a young lady and, and her brother right now. It's uh, Rose Maddox and her brother, Cal. And they're going to entertain you here. And I know it's going to be big city all the way. Okay. Here's a laughing cow. <laughs> Very, very much. And how do you get everybody? You know like that. Are you ready, Cal? Yes. You said goodbye to me this morning. And slowly walked out of my life. I don't know how I live without you. I only know I've got to try. Going down, down, down to the river And there ain't nobody gonna have to hold my hand I'm going down, down, down to the river Gonna bury my troubles in the river bottom sign Going 
Presley, Rose Madden. So glad to have with us tonight a young man that had a song on the charts not too long ago, and he's going to include it on our big country music hootenanny tonight. Let's give a big round of applause to Buddy Kago. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here with you folks here in Bakersfield this afternoon. I should say this morning now. Here's one we hope you like. We'd like to do it for... i, I tell you what, I'd like to dedicate to all you mothers out there. And uh, by golly, I'm real proud of it and we hope you like it. One called Your Mother's Prayer. Your mother just might have been praying for you. You lived through the crash on the highway. It's a miracle you're here today. Riding with you, but your mother just might have been praying for you. Don't give Lady Luck all of the credit when it might have been your mother's prayer. She holds the key to the powers in heaven and sees that your maker is there. You call yourself lucky. And believe that it's true But your mother just might have been praying for you In the war you missed it many times Your chances for living were not worth the dime They pull you through But your mother just might have been praying for you Your sweetheart just almost told you goodbye I remember seeing the tears in your eyes And you think you're lucky cause she stuck with you But your mother just might have been praying for you don't give Lady Luck all of the credit But it might have been your mother's prayer She holds the key to the powers of heaven And sees that your maker is there You call yourself lucky and believe that it's true Your mother just might have been praying for you. Thank you. Well, thanks so much, Buddy Cake. Right now, we're going to bring uh, a man that's known as the Oklahoma Flash. He's written many of our fine songs, recorded them. He used to work with Gene Autry, in fact, for many years. And has with him tonight the Kentucky Colonels, and I think Joe and Rosalie are uh, going to work with him right now, too. Let's give a big hand to the Oklahoma Flash, Johnny Bond, the Kentucky Colonels, Joe and Rosalie Mather. Thank you, Cousin Herb. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get a uh, little group of fellows here with us by the name of the Kentucky Colonels. Hey, hey, you know, they sure is a good crowd in here tonight. Oh, this is a beautiful hey, crowd. Hey, you know, there'd be more people in here, though, if they'd all come inside. Well, they're all here. No, there's some people out there in the parking lot in the back seat of the car playing checkers. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's dark out there. They can't play checkers. Now, I know they're playing checkers, Roger, because I heard this woman say this man, she said, Brother, if you make another move like that, I'm going to crown you yeah. right here. And I'm <laughs> Go, go, ring 
along with Dimmy John. Hot corn, go, go, ring along with Dimmy John. Hot corn, go, go, ring along with Dimmy John. Very well, Uncle Bill, see you in the morning. Yes, sir. Upstairs, downstairs, out in the kitchen. Upstairs, downstairs, out in the kitchen. Upstairs, downstairs, out in the kitchen. See Uncle Bill, just a rare and a pigeon. Yes, sir. Hot corn, cold corn, ring along the Dimmy John. Hot corn, cold corn, ring along the Dimmy John. Hot corn, cold corn, ring along the Dimmy John. Fairly well, Uncle Bill, see you in the morning. Yes, sir. Old Aunt Becky, won't you fill them up again? Old Aunt Becky, won't you fill them up again? Old Aunt Becky, won't you fill them up again? I ain't had a drink since I don't know when. Yes, sir. Hot corn, cold corn, ring along with Dimmy John. Hot corn, cold corn, ring along with Dimmy John. Hot corn, cold corn, ring along with Dimmy John. Fairly well, Uncle Bill, see you in the morning. Yes, sir. Hot corn, cold corn, ring along with Dimmy John. Hot corn, cold corn, ring along with Dimmy John. Hot corn, cold corn, ring along with Dimmy John. Fairly well, Thank you, fellas. That's the Kentucky Colonels. Fellas, don't run off. I'd like for you to join me on this little number, if you would. When I was young and in my prime, I left my home in Caroline. Now all I do is sit in time for all the folks I left behind. I've got the Blue Ridge Mountain Blues, and I stand right here to say my grip is packed to travel, and I'm scratching gravel for the Blue Ridge. I know the day that I return There'll be a shindig in the barn People for miles around will swarm There'll be some fiddling to gosh darn I've got the Blue Ridge Mountain Blues Wanna see my old dog Trey I'm on a hunt to possum Where the corn tops blossom In that Blue Ridge Far away, I see two heads of snowy white. I see a window with a light. I seem to hear them both reply. Where is my wandering boy tonight? I've got the Blue Ridge Mountain Blue, where the tall green pine trees sway. And now I'm gonna wander to the folks down. Far away, I'm gonna do right by my mom. I'm gonna listen to my pa. I'll hang around the cabin door. No work or worry anymore. I've got the Blue Ridge Mountain Blues, and I stand right here to say my grip is packed to travel, and I'm scratched. For that blue ridge, far away. Rosalie and myself not gonna take up much time because we got a whole lot of show to get on here, and you folks are gonna be here past bedtime, I do believe. You know, I always like to court Rosalie. I've been a courting her for a long time. And I think this would be a good idea to do it right now. It's all right with you folks. I'll give to you a paper of pins if that's the way our love begins. If you marry, 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 if you marry me. How's about that, honey? I thought you said we was going to court. That's what I said. A paper of pins? That's the way I start. I'll not accept your paper of pins if that's the way our love begins. And I'll not marry, marry, marry. Not for no paper of pins, old buddy, buddy. You mean you're gonna be hard to get along with tonight? 
You gotta do better than that. Well, let me see. I had to think of something else. I'll give to you a dress of red stitched around with a golden thread. If you marry, marry, marry. If you marry. Hey, do you like a red dress, Rosalie? Oh, I've seen a pretty one. I sure might. A new dress. Red dress. I'll not accept your dress of red all stitched around with a golden thread. And I'll not marry, marry, marry. I'm sorry. You mean you're not going to marry me? I tell you what I better do, ladies and gentlemen. I better pick a course or two on the guitar and think this thing over. I gotta get a new approach. <laughs> I'll give to you a dress of green So you look just like a queen If you marry, marry, marry If you marry me Do you like green dress? You're determined to buy me a new dress, aren't you? Well, I think it'd be a good idea Well, now I'll not accept your dress of green Cause I already look just like a queen And I'll not marry, marry, marry Nope, I'm not gonna do it Maybe I ought to do like these young fellas do Get romantical with her, huh? I'll give to you the key to my heart That we can marry and never part If you marry, marry, marry If you marry You like to have the key to my heart, huh? You think that'll do it? I think that ought to do it, you old sweet thing, you I'll not accept the key to your heart That we can marry and never part And I'll not marry, marry, marry I've definitely made up Here's my mind I'm middle. not gonna do it It'll be one while I think of something I tell you folks, there's one way you can get them and it never fails them. I'm about to do it. I'll bet you I get her this time. I know how to work on these women all day. I'll give to you the key to my chest that you can have money at your request. If you marry, 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 if you marry me. How about that? Have all the money you want. You could have saved a lot of time, you know. I will accept the key to your chest that I can have money at my request and I will marry, marry. Uh-huh, I'll marry you. Uh, I thought so. You're just a dad burn gold digger. That's all you are. Well, you let me tell you something, you pretty thing, you. Now, miss, I see that money is all, and my love means nothing at all. And I won't marry, marry, marry. No, I wouldn't marry you if you the last dad burn woman on earth. You raised your voice at me. Well, I raised my foot in a minute. I was just a foolin'. Gold digger? No, no, I'm not really. You're not? I was just a kidding about the money. You mean you wanted me all the time? All the time. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place, Rosalie? <laughs> and, and I will marry, marry, marry. Yes, I marry you. We got a lot of more fine talent on the show. Let's give the boys in the band all a fine hand. They've done a wonderful job. Uh, we are going to take an intermission now. I know there's uh, a lot of cokes and hot dogs and things out there. We'll do what you want to do, and we'll see you in about 15 minutes. Thank you. Well, it looks like we're all ready for some more of this good country music hoot nanny, and you're all refreshed and ready to go, I'm sure. Yes, sir, and so are we. And I couldn't think of a better guy to bring on right now. Uh, one of the country's finest songwriters and top entertainers, Tommy Collins. Thank you, folks. I'm mighty glad to be here with you tonight. Of course, I live just over yonder a few blocks. But I feel at home here in Bakersfield. It's about uh, the nearest to my home country of Maine that uh, I was ever in. I'm from Maine, you know, the Maine part of Oklahoma. Thank you, got it there? Okay, thank you. Well, I want to do a song uh, from an experience that I had back in Oklahoma, many experiences. Well, by the way, have any of you ever sneaked into a watermelon patch before? Let's see your hand you have. Good, I'm in good company. Well, I wrote this song from several experiences that I had and added a little bit to it and you might be able to 
recognize that. It's called I Got Mine. Back in Oklahoma, in a watermelon patch, one evening me and a friend of mine had planned to swipe a bat. I found a 50-pounder, big and ripe and fine. I whispered to my buddy, hey, I got mine. <laughs> Then we heard a shotgun blasting loud and clear. Then we heard a voice say, What are you boys doing here? Buckshot started flying. We left the goods behind. And speaking of behind, boys, I got mine. I got mine. I got mine. In that watermelon pack, I got mine. Then up walked the farmer's daughter, she'd have hit about 205. Snaggle tooth and knock me with romance in her eyes. He said, You got a choice, boy, this gun or Caroline. Everybody needs a sweetheart, so I got mine. I got mine, I got mine. Before I reached the hog wire fence, I got mine. Then the old man got real friendly and laid his shotgun down. I grabbed it with the speed of light and started making ground. I was racing for my freedom and for the county line. My buddy didn't make it, but I got mine. I got mine. I got mine. My buddy's got a sweetheart. He's got mine. I got mine. I got mine. My buddy's got a sweetheart. Very much, Tommy Collins. A real cute song, and I'm sure it's going to be another big one for you. And right now, I'd like to introduce Glenn Campbell. Here's a young man that is six foot something tall. I don't know how many inches, and he plays a 12-string guitar. He sings like a bird, and I mean a pretty bird. Why don't you listen now to and welcome Glenn Campbell? <laughs> Thank you very much. It's certainly a pleasure to be here for Cousin Herb's 10th anniversary show. I want to try to do one that uh, Ray Price had a big hit record on. Kick me off every red. <laughs> changed everything Now we're not even friends Don't leave the job half done Leave nothing behind You took her off my hand Now please take her off my mind to you Don't leave the job half done Leave nothing behind You took her off my hands Now please take her off my mind Don't leave the 
the job half done Leave nothing behind You took her off my hands Now please take her off my mind And now, from the Grand Ole Opry, so glad to have Jeannie Shepherd with us tonight. I really mean we're glad, Jeannie. <laughs> Thank you, Herb. So nice to be with y'all tonight. We'd like to do kind of a romping, stomping song for y'all. So y'all grab a hold and do one called Foggy Mountaintop. <laughs> feature Roy Nichols and all the guys in the old Trading Post band. Uh, I don't know what you're going to do, but let's give him a hand. Roy Nichols! <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, folks, no Hootenanny would be complete without this wonderful talent that we have with us tonight. A man that can be recognized by his guitar styling, by the songs that he writes about the coal mines, and, of course, the songs he sings. He's a great folk artist, my friend, Mr. Merle Travis. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, it's a real pleasure to be here to sort of honor my old buddy, cousin Herb Henson. Here's an old tune I guess everybody knows. I hope nobody's done it tonight. It's a tune called The Midnight Special, so we'll try our luck with it. If you ever go to Houston, boy, you better walk right. You better not gamble, and you better not fight. T. Bentley will arrest you, he'll sure take you down. Judge Nelson will sentence you, then you jailhouse bound. Let the midnight special shine its light on me. Let the midnight special shine its ever loving light on me. Let the midnight special shine its light on me. Let the midnight special shine a silver loving light on me. How do you know? I can tell her by her apron And the clothes she wore Straw hat on her head, boys Piece of paper in her hand Say, look here, Mr. Jailer I want my lifetime man Let the midnight special Shine its light on me Let the midnight special Shine its every loving light on me let the midnight special shine its light on me. Let the midnight special shine its ever loving light on me. Oh, thank you, Merle Travis. We all love you. Right now, we want to bring on a young man that has a current hit tune across the nation, not only in the country western field of music, but also in a lot of the pop charts. And he's just fabulous. I know you're going to enjoy him. Let's bring on Roy Clark. <laughs> he looks mischievous, don't he? <laughs> Thank you very much. It feels awful good when you like that. It's like, you know, warm hands on a cold morning. If you're a cow, that feels good. <laughs> I shouldn't pull that on a cow. <laughs> to get serious, here's the tune that uh, I very seldom get serious anymore. I tried it about three years ago and it scared me so bad I almost give it up completely. <laughs> but this is a pretty thing. I'll try it tonight. I have a little sore throat. We had a party last night, a uh, celebration. I forget what it was we were celebrating. I think it was, <laughs> I think it was the opening of a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> It doesn't take much to get us started. <laughs> they tell me I had a real good time. <laughs> I think it comes up Thursday morning in court. <laughs> I was doing pretty good until they introduced me to the bartender. I should have left then. But, you know, I try to get everything going, and I jumped up and said, Buddy, anything you make, I will drink. 
and that had to be his button. <laughs> I mean, because he commenced to shaking and, and he made one out of milk of magnesia and vodka. Really, he called it a Phillips screwdriver. <laughs> I'll tell you, they ain't half bad. <laughs> but the one that tore me up is the one that made out of prune juice and vodka. <laughs> he called it a pile driver. I didn't believe him till this morning. <laughs> oh boy. He wore a CD and Jones, oh, and he rattled them bones. Old Paris and Brown hopping round like a clown. Oh, did your mama, she's fast, 83. Child, now that I'm full of people, watch your step, watch your step. One legged Joe hopping around the stone. I thought I was crutching, hollered, hey, let her go. Oh, honey, hell, hell, the gang's all here for the Alabama Jubilee Mount Peak. Is everybody on stage? Are they coming? Now, we are all going to sing God Be With You Till We Meet Again. Introduction, please.
because you know we come on with y'all come and we're going to leave you with a song that I wrote uh, in about 1950 uh, called Hurry Back. Okay. Oh, we're so glad you come to see us hurry back. Now if you like our home, stop picking hurry back. Now if you're ever out there, see a wave, I'm going to plan to stay. We're so glad you come to see us hurry back. Yes, hurry back. Hurry back. If you like our home, stop picking hurry back. Yes, hurry back. Hurry back. We're so glad you come to see us hurry back. Now we Spring when you arrive, you can help us plant the rye. We'll furnish you with bib and overall. And when all the chores are through and there's nothing else to do, we'll ride to town and have ourselves a ball. And of course, if it's summer when you come, oh, and cotton's not much fun, but a handle we'll have waiting just for you. When the sun is sinking low, then a hunting we will go. And find ourselves a tree or sales or two. You hurry back. You hurry back. If you like our home, stop picking, hurry back. You yeah, hurry back. Hurry back. Hurry back. Oh, we're so glad you come. See us hurry back. Now, if you make it in the fall, you're going to hear those blackbirds call. Then you'll know it's good old harvest time again. And the smell of new mown hay will stay with you every day. It's better than the finest medicine. Of course, if it's in the winter when you, uh, you know, we have lots of ice and snow. But old Mother Nature had it planned that way. We have sleigh rides all the time, and the skating sure is fine. Not much work and lots of fun most every day. So hurry back. Hurry back. Hurry back. If you like our home, stop picking, hurry back. Hurry back. Hurry back. Hurry back. Oh, we're so glad you come.